So given this, given that there's a 60% probability of a large market, a 30% probability of a small market, and a 10% probability of no market at all, what we want to do is work out our expected return. So what we'll do first is we'll build a financial model similar to what we've been building in the course. In fact, very much like the bulldozer model we built earlier on. So what we do is we, we'll build a model where we project forward our revenues and our costs, and then we'd calculate our balance sheet and income statements and discounted cash flows, and then from that calculate an NPV. Uh, now we need to do that for three different scenarios. So we'd use the scenario analysis and uh, we would have three scenes. Uh, one scene would be a large market share, a second scene would be a small market share, and a third scene would be uh, a no market at all. So for each of those scenes, uh, we feed those into the model and then we calculate the NPV. So for example, in a large market share, we get a NPV of, let's say, 50 mil. For a small market share, NPV is 20 mil. And for a no market share, we lose our development costs. We're about $30 million. All right, what we want to do in a decision tree is calculate a weighted average. Again, the reason why it's called a tree is because these look a bit like branches. These are the branches of the tree, and that's where you assign your probabilities. And then the numbers in uh, red, in this case, they are NPVs, and that's the actual NPV if that particular event takes place. So what we do is we calculate what's called an expected NPV. And the way you calculate an expected NPV, it's simply a weighted average. So what you do is you take the probability by the amount plus the probability by the amount plus the probability by the amount. So you end up with a weighted average weighted by probabilities. So for example, in this case here in stage one, uh, the expected NPV would be $33 million.